It's cloudy. It's cool. Here's how things look outside. This is a live look from our BJC Skycam in downtown St. Louis. We're looking west down Market Street. It's 38 degrees, but look at that wind out of the west at 16 miles per hour with a gust to 24. That's making it feel a lot colder. Our current wind chill value 29. These are the actual air temperatures across the area from 40 in Sparta. That's a warm spot to 34 in Bowling Green. It's 42 in Farmington. There's sunshine down here. That's why a little sunnier as we get into the southeastern portions of the viewing area. Southern Illinois uh, fluorescent. You're at 36 Bowling Green 34. A lot of cloud cover there. And then these are the sustained winds. So this makes it feel cooler winds generally in the teens. Occasionally we get gusts up to about 20 21 miles per hour. So because of that, this is the wind chills currently across the area from 31 in Sparta to 29 in St. Louis, 26 in Rolla. It feels like 24 in Bowling Green. So yeah, it's, it's pretty chilly out there. Here's what's going on. There's this upper low moving very slowly. I mean, this is where it was yesterday. So this thing is just drifting across the Great Lakes. You can see some snow in it rotating around that low and also all the clouds rotating around the low. So that's why we're kind of socked into the cloud cover here. As we zoom in, though, and take a closer look, southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, you've got some sunshine. Now those clouds are drifting to the southeast, so your cloud should start to thicken up a little bit. But St. Louis looks like we're pretty much going to be socked in through the day. So here's the rest of the afternoon, mostly cloudy and breezy at 3 p.m. 43 by 6 p.m. We're down to 39, still mostly cloudy. The winds have come down and then by 9 p.m. The clouds are starting to thin a bit 36. That's good news because those clouds will continue thinning overnight and that's going to be in a little bit more sunshine for us during the day tomorrow as that low pressure area pulls away. Our next chance of rain comes really on Saturday, probably after midnight Friday night, starting to see the chance of showers and then that'll continue to be a possibility through the overnight hours. So late Friday night into Saturday morning. And then now I'm thinking uh, those scattered showers hold on through much of the day on Saturday before coming to an end uh, in the evening. Their highest probability, though, mainly during the morning hours, but it's nothing heavy. It's not particularly uh, it's not a widespread soaking, if you will, more scattered light rain. We're talking a quarter an inch or less, so not a whole lot of it, uh, but that is Saturday and then we have dry weather for the second half of the weekend. So let me take you through it tomorrow. Good news, more sunshine, less wind. Warmer temperatures, 47 for the high should be a bit more pleasant. And then Saturday, there's that 60% chance of rain. Now looking ahead to Sunday, we're mostly cloudy, a little cooler, but it is dry. And then early next week, the temperatures warm up. We get some 50s on the board there before dropping back into the mid 40s. We do have another chance of rain coming in next Thursday. And then I want to show you this from the Climate Prediction Center. This is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. So the seven days beyond the seven day, I like to call it. Look at those above normal oh, temperatures hey, expected. Yes. In addition, we are expected to be perhaps a little wetter than normal, but uh, we could probably still use a little bit of that rain. All in all, I would say not a bad looking forecast, Claire. Ah, indeed, indeed. We'll take that, especially for January standards. Well, while you were talking, there was a lot going on in the nation's capital. We told you.